just want to show off the new 32K Game Boy Flash cards that came in today. Um, so, no SRAM, no mapper. So only 32K games or less will work. So basically like Tetris is like a commercial game that would work. Um, so no LSDJ, nothing like that. Um, so I just have a little shell here that I can stick it in. These are Chinese pirate shells. So the quality isn't quite as good as an official game. Um, but I think it's definitely passable, especially the price point we're targeting. Um, and obviously it'll fit just fine in an official shell. So if you really wanted to, you could easily swap it out. But So now it's stuck in there. Um, let's go ahead and put it in the SP. So this is a little game I found called Guns and Riders. It's kind of fun. I'm not very good, especially when I'm playing on the camera. Anyways, I guess there's a pause. Um, so that's that. Uh, but one thing I think is really cool with these boards is they actually, you can tell how small they are. They also fit in a Game Boy Advance shell. So obviously it's not going to boot Game Boy Advance games at all. But you could put like a Game Boy, like an original Game Boy game or program in a Game Boy Advance shell. So if you use like an SP or something, um, you can put your ROMs on these in, in this size shell. And that way it won't stick out the bottom of your Game Boy, so you can see. It'll be just fine there. Um, one thing to note though is that on Game Boy Advance, there's just a little uh, switch. Probably can't really see that, but there's a little switch in there. So what I had to do is I just filled in this little groove on the side here with some hot glue. Obviously it doesn't look very good. Um, but this will definitely be more of a DIY option. Um, I might look into getting some Chinese Game Boy Advance shells, but uh, until I find a good way to fill those gaps in, uh, I'll probably just let people do that on their own if they want to do that. So, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the 32K flash cart. Um, let me know if you have any questions.